Good morning. Yes. I'm Nancy, one of the ministers of the congregation, and it's my joy to welcome every Sunday um, to our children and youth. And this morning we have, um, would like to invite Carrie. Can you come and ring the peace bell? And I will invite all the children and children at heart and youth to come forward. We have Louise West sharing the story this morning. And I think the big kids may want to come for this story. I see some treats on the, on the table. I never go. There's cupcakes. Oh my goodness gracious. How wonderful to have all of you here today. Who could tell me what day this is and what we're celebrating here? Yes. We are celebrating the Day of the Dead. And I'm going to read you the story, then we're going to talk about what that means. Because it sounds kind of spooky, but it's not at all. It's pretty wonderful. And it is. So this, and this is called the Festival of the Bones, and books in Spanish and in English. But I'm going to read it in English. You know I used to teach Spanish. <laughs> the skeletons are going along the road to the graveyard. They are coming and they are going, and you see them passing by. They are walking over here. They are walking over there. These are the dead. How happy they are. Hey, I'm flying. Hey, I'm flying. The festival is so far away. The day of the dead is today. They're coming and they're going and you'll see them passing by. They're dancing over here. They're chatting over there. It's their day and they're going to have a good time. Pasquale Skeleton sings a song without any pain or dread. Although half a leg is really gone, still a footwork sits upon his head. Cemetery, the kids are asking for the baby skeleton and her scary mask and her box with the little candle. Giddy up, giddy up, on, oh, they want to catch me. And that skeleton, he wants to marry me. <laughs> Strung out in rows, dancing a wild, wild, Skeletons are going to come dancing in here, you. No. We have lots of dancers here. The Day of the Dead is a day when we celebrate all those people that we have known and loved who have died and gone before us. And we think about all the funny things and the happy things and the loving things. And lots of times people set up an altar. And usually they also have bread. But on Thursday, by the time I got to the Mexican bakery of Baltimore High School, bread was all gone. But they usually have these sugar skeletons and skulls, and you can't eat it. It's just for decoration. And then they have flowers and candles and food to offer to the people that they love and pictures of the people who've gone before. And these pictures are, are of my mom and dad and my brother, Thad, and our wonderful dog, Treadwell. And those are all people that I love. And when we go out to lunch today after church in our family, we'll tell funny and happy stories about these people here. And so, um, is the Day of the Dead a sad day? No, it's a day for rejoicing and having a party. 
and thinking about my dad who never wore shoes and you know what? And well, he didn't like shoes and who else doesn't like shoes? And me. <laughs> and thinking about my brother and Nancy came in this morning and looked at the picture of my brother and said, how come you have a picture of Noah on this table? <laughs> Noah's right over there. And I said, well, that's not Noah, that's my brother. And so, um, everybody, when you go home tonight, or this afternoon, or when you have lunch, ask the people in your family to tell you a happy, or a funny, or a silly story about some ancestor of yours that has already died. And you will, can have some laughs and some hugs, and just think about all the people in the world that love you, and the fact that people who have died are never gone as long as we remember them in our hearts. So let's say a little prayer. <clears throat>